The infallible trophy in Fall Guys is one of the most difficult trophies to get. You have to get five consecutive wins, which is so difficult when I can barely scrape out one. I personally thought this was impossible, until about yesterday. As it turns out, Sweet Thieves was the solution. You play a short round of basically cops and robbers, and if you win, it actually counts as a win. And this is how I'd end up getting the infallible. Alright, first up, let me explain what Sweet Thieves is. You've got Thieves and Guardians. The Thieves have to steal candy and take it back to their base to score points. I think they need 12 points to win. Um, and they can also go invisible so that the Guardians cannot see them. And as the Guardian, you have to capture all of the Sweet Thieves uh, by grabbing them. And then they get sent to a jail, but they can be released by the button in the middle of the map. As you can see here, I'm trying to sneak around because I've been kind of spotted and six of my teammates have been caught. Uh, there was only two of us left. And I just decided to break for it and hit the button to release all of my teammates. Otherwise, I felt like we were going to lose. Uh, and I managed to get it, which is very nice. Meaning that all my teammates are free now to go and steal candy to their heart's content. Now, unfortunately, this Peabody was here waiting for me. He must have been salty that I released all of my teammates. So he actually captured me here. But it's all good because I managed to get released a little bit later on. Uh, but I'm still a bit annoyed that I got caught after that amazing finesse that I managed to pull off releasing everyone. Pretty much straight away I managed to get out of the jail. Uh, and I'm a bit annoyed because as soon as I got out I instantly got captured and put back in the jail again. Um, which, which is my fault to be honest, I should have gone invisible. But I got captured again and now I've got to wait to be released again. That sucks. And with about a minute left, I was released from the jail, and we've only got about seven candies, so I've got to go quite quickly, but slow enough so I don't get caught. Uh, but it's going to be quite tight to get to 12 uh, before the game ends. Once I got over to the candy, there was about half a minute left, and we managed to get up to 11, so we needed one more, and I had that one more, so it was all down to me. I was really panicking as the time was really, really starting to tick down. It was like, I was really nervous. I was like, oh, I want to win this one, uh, and I, I was really actually nervous, but um, we managed to get it, so uh, that's a really, that's a big relief. And now it's time for the second game, and we are thieves again, so I'm heading straight back over to the candy. Uh, my favourite one is on the left side, as not really many people protect it, but on this occasion someone was actually protecting it, and I think I bumped something which revealed my location, and they managed to actually catch me and put me in jail, which is so annoying, it's like not even 10 seconds in, I'm already caught. Once I had been released, I made a straight dash back for that left side to get the candy uh, past these flipper things, which are kind of annoying because they knock the candy out of your hand. But anyway, this time there was no one here, so there was no chance of me getting caught, so I just picked up the candy and bolted back to base. But on my way back, this guy just came out of nowhere and caught me, and I was straight away back in jail. Oh, I swear. Every time I get out of jail within 10 seconds, I'm back in again. Luckily, I was released quite quickly, but this time I had to be rather careful because there was actually guards down at the bottom waiting for us to get out. So I had to kind of go invisible and sneak around a bit. And of course, going back to the left side and I, I found one on the floor and I got I got stopped at the base, but I absolutely broke his ankles and just finessed him so bad. I swear, that after this match, this kid never touched the game again. I broke his ankles that bad. Anyway, after turning that kid's bones to liquid, I managed to make a loop around, grab a candy, and get back to base. And I was really careful going back. I was invisible the whole time back to make sure I got this candy back. Because we only had about, uh, uh, about a minute left, and we weren't doing so well. So we really needed to get the candy, and I couldn't get caught, otherwise it might have been all over. 
With about 20 seconds left, I put the 11th piece of candy back into the base. And I was really starting to panic at this point. Uh, it was really tight again, so I kind of needed to get straight back to the base and get the last piece of candy. Luckily, as I got there, someone else put the last piece in with about 10 seconds left, and it could not have been any closer. On game three, we were guardians, which meant we had to capture everyone or make sure they didn't get all of the sweets before the time limit ended. Now, this is the more tricky of the two, in my opinion, uh, but, you know, we managed to get it, uh, but it, it was quite a challenge. You could only partially see the thieves, so you had to kind of see when you can see them and then chase after them, but they might go invisible, so you kind of have to just spam R2 and hope you accidentally grab them. Um, so it, it's, a bit, it's a bit of luck, really. And as you can see, someone actually released all of the inmates, which means we had to catch them all again, which is just so annoying. Luckily, the people we caught weren't too good at the game, so we'd probably be able to capture them again. But it's the ones that are just really good and skilled at the game, that are, uh, they're just so scary, man. You can see we kind of sat there and camped the button, which I, I hate campers personally. But like, it's a really good strategy, because you can kind of just sit on the ramps and like spin around whilst grabbing, and then they won't be able to come up, because they could, they, you, you never know, they could just be sitting invisible on the podium waiting to release them. Um, so you kind of gotta, kind of gotta just stand there and hope that they don't release them, and that's why you kind of stand there and grab. Um, it, it's a foul strategy, but it works. And here I spot one of the last two people trying to steal a piece of candy, and I chased after them. I had to chase after them. I had to capture them, and I was hoping that the last one wasn't just sitting at the button waiting to release them. But lo and behold, he actually was. But he messed up his jump and we managed to catch him to get the win. And on round four, we are once again Guardians. And at this point, it hadn't striked us that we had three wins in a row. Um, so we had no idea we were actually going to get in fallable at this point. Um, <laughs> we didn't even know we had three in a row, like I said. This round, there wasn't really too much interesting footage. It was basically just us running around trying to catch people. I mean, it was fine, but it was like, it's not very fun to watch. So I'll just cut to the bits that are like actually interesting. Uh, but it, this is going to be a bit of a shorter round. One of their players had left, which meant there was only five of them. And we'd already caught four out of five. So we only needed to catch the last guy. And he was just hiding on the bridge. He kind of went uninvisible. So we just managed to catch him straight away. Full send it. Full send it. I'll go full concentration mode. I'll even I'll put my hood up. I'll tell you what, I'm going, I'm going headphones over the hood. That's how you know I've gone full concentration mode. On game five, the final game, we were thieves again. And as I said, we were going to full send it. I was playing really carefully here because I wanted to get this win. I had no idea we were on a four streak at all. I just I thought we were on like a two or three personally, but I I, I didn't even realise this was gonna be the match I got in fallable. But I'm taking it really slow, being really careful so that we definitely get this win. By the time I had got my candy back, we were already at four. So it was looking very, very promising early on. I think the guards were not very good at their job. So we managed to just rack up a ton of candy really quickly. And I was still playing it really, really careful. I did not want to get caught once this match. I did not want to risk it at all. By the time I got back to the candy, we were already up to 10. We were absolutely speed running the match. It was actually going insanely well for us. But then all of a sudden, we need one more. I think we've done it. I think that's. Oh my god, I just got infallible. I just oh. got infallible. I just got infallible. Just say. Oh my. And that, my friends, is how I got infallible. It took me so long to get this trophy. <laughs> I've been trying since season one, and that was like two years ago, back in 2020. 
It feels like yesterday, but still, I'm so glad I finally got this and got the platinum for this game. I'd like to say a big thanks to Ryan for being there, for the emotional support, and uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to like and subscribe. I've got a few videos planned to release soon, so there's not going to be a six month wait this time, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.